I'm uh, Jim Foudy, Manager of Field Services for Retread Systems, Goodyear Tire and Rubber. Uh, what we want to demonstrate today is the unicircle process where we use a unicircle retread rubber and this is the building machine that applies that tread rubber to the tire. So we'll start off with uh, uh, loading the machine with the tread and uh, uh, we're going to load that on the machine right now. It's a solid ring that's cured all in one uh, mold. It has no splice to it. Uh, once the machine, once the machine is mounted, uh, the tread's mounted on the machine. Uh, we will stretch the machine, the tread out, and then load the tire. It stretches at just enough tension so that we can hold the, it, it uh, centered, and some stamper arms come out to make it perfectly centered around the, the circle there. He's going to load the tread. Now this is a fully automated uh, machine. The machine detects the tread width, it detects the tire diameter, and then it will spread the fingers wide enough so that the tire then can center up under the tread so that we can uh, apply the tread. It's measuring the diameter right now. Now it's moving to the appropriate distance. Tire will retract. Uh, on this side over here, there's a centering laser. There's a centering laser right here that hits the center of the tread so we make sure we have a perfect alignment. It's now perfectly aligned around the tire. The next part of the process, it will, the tread will be uh, lowered onto the tire and the stampers would hold the tread on there. Because this is a demonstration, we don't actually have the layer of cushion gum that will bond the tire to the tread. So we have to remove the tread and we'll walk it through the rest of the process without the tread on there. It makes one more stamp and now it's going to retract so that there's some stitching rollers that will work the air out from under the tread so that will uh, stitch side across the tread and move the air out. Center roller starts the first roller starts in the center, it will work to the right a little bit, and then the second roller will come in play and they'll both stitch to the ends. So at that point, it's finished and we're able to hang it back on the rail and move it on down the line for the curing process. Uh, we, we have cure times around three hours. It's a growing part of our uh, retread lineup. And so it, each year, it's growing more and more.